Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Have you ever heard the saying, comparing apples to oranges? When two things are not the same, it can be hard to compare. The same applies in math when it comes to fractions with different denominators. When adding and subtracting fractions, we need to make sure that they have the same denominator. We want to compare apples with apples. Or oranges with oranges. Uh, let's take a deeper look at this while helping Jenny with her art project. Jenny is tying strings together to make a banner. She has one string that is five and three quarters inches, and another string that is six and a half inches long. So how long will the string be after the two pieces are tied together? All right, so we're going to need to add these two fractions together. But hang on, the denominators are not the same. So we need to convert unlike fractions into like fractions. And to do that, we have to find a common denominator. We have four and two, and their common denominator is four, as two is a factor of four. To get a denominator of four in the fraction one half, we need to multiply by two, both the denominator and the numerator, and so then we would get the equivalent fraction of two-fourths. Now, both fractions have the same denominator, and bingo, we can add them together. Three plus two is five. Keep the denominator of four, and we get five-fourths. Ooh, but we have an improper fraction here, so let's break it down. Five-fourths equals one whole and a quarter. Now, it's time to add up the whole numbers. Five plus six is 11, plus one is 12. And so the string is 12 and a quarter inches long. Now, let's hang up this banner so we can see what Eric is up to. Oh, Eric is packing his backpack for school. His science book is one and three fifteenths pounds, and his history book is one and three tenths pounds. How heavy will both books be together? Well, if we use the denominators to find equivalent fractions, we're going to be working with some very large numbers. Huh. Wait, take a look at 3 fifteenths. We can simplify this fraction. We can divide the denominator and numerator by 3 to get 1 fifth. Ah, that's much better. Now we need to find the least common denominator of 5 and 10. Well, we take the two numbers and start making multiples of each of them. Let's put them in a table like this. We start with one times the numbers, then two, three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look, we have 10 in both columns, and that's our least common denominator. Now, we need to multiply by two the numerator and denominator of the fraction one fifth to get to a denominator of 10. And that makes two tenths. And now it's time to add. Two plus three is five. We have a fraction of five-tenths, which we can further simplify by dividing both the denominator and numerator by five. And this equals one-half. And now we can add the whole numbers. One plus one is two. So Eric's backpack will be carrying two and a half pounds with both books inside. Woo! Nailed it! Oh, and it looks like Latifah's in the middle of her daily walk. Uh, let's catch up with her. Assuming today is Wednesday, and Latifah walked one and a half miles on Monday, three quarters of a mile on Tuesday, and two and six eighths of a mile today, what is the total amount she's walked so far this week? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, let's start by looking at the denominators. We have two, four, and eight. Now, two and four are factors of eight, so our least common denominator will be eight. Now, we can multiply one half by four, uh, but remember to multiply both the denominator and numerator, and we get four eighths. Then, in order to get a denominator of eight in three quarters, we're going to multiply by two, and we end up getting six eighths. And the fraction of six eighths stays as it is. And now it's addition time. All right, we're going to keep the denominator of eight and add all the numerators. So four plus six is 10 plus six equals 16. And that's 16 over eight. 
Now, this is an improper fraction, so we're not going to leave it like that. Uh, 16 divided by 8. Oh, cool, equals 2. So it's 2. And finally, we're going to sum up the whole numbers. 1 plus 2 equals 3, and we have another 2 from the improper fraction, which will give us a total of 5. Latifa walked 5 miles this week. Good workout. Since we've been walking so much, and now that we're walking past the store, what do you say we stop for a little bit of a snack? Oh, it's Mia. I wonder what she's going to buy. Now, Mia has some oranges on a scale, and it shows a weight of three and a half pounds total. When she takes one of the oranges off the scale, it now shows a weight of two and three quarters pound. So how much did that one orange weigh? Well, we need to use subtraction to find the weight of the orange that was removed. Ah, uh, we can do this. Three and a half minus two and three fourths. Mm -hmm. Let's take a closer look at those fractions. One half minus three fourths. Okay, well, we can change one half to have a denominator of four by multiplying by two. One times two is two, and two times two is four. All right, there we go. And now we have two fourths minus three fourths or two minus three. Uh-oh, we don't have enough to subtract. I know what we can do. We can borrow from the whole numbers. Now let's convert both fractions into improper fractions and then multiply by two to get to the same denominators. So, first we have two multiplied by three equals six plus one equals seven. And here we have 7 over 2. And now we're going to multiply both the denominator and the numerator by 2 to get to 14 fourths. Now we're going to multiply 4 by 2, and that's 8. Add 3 makes it 11, or 11 fourths. Now, having the same denominators, we can subtract. 14 minus 11 equals 3. And we keep the same denominator of four, and our final answer is three-fourths. The orange weighed three-quarters of a pound. Now, it's time to buy those oranges and enjoy our snack. Woo! You did some mighty calculations today. You aced adding and subtracting fractions when the denominators were not the same, or when they were unlike each other. And now it's time to go and enjoy a mighty snack of your own, and I'll see you in the next lesson.